in this video we're going to show you the the theory of the booting the drive from the caddy there were two segments of this video the first one including the drive slots so I've got drives in here and then the second part or the second segment will be without the without these slots when I just eject it this will show that the drive will work will work through it will boot from the caddy without the drives and will not work when the drive is slotted in so let me just Go to it. In the first part of the video, we're gonna boot we're gonna try and boot the caddy with all the drive slots intact. So you can see the drives. Hard drives, one, two. Don't have to show all of them anyway. Just at least two slots. Be fine. Right, let's boot up. Now I'm going to, to, I'm going to use Server 2012R2 as a test subject. Now I'm going to boot this up. I want you to focus on port 5. So let's get to port 5. So I was initialize all the SATA. Right, port 5, when it says smart hard disk crucial CT480. That's port 5, you're going to boot from port 5. That's the windows on port 5. It's boot up now. Let's see now. It's trying to boot and... Nope. It's not going to boot. Nope. It's trying to go through the, um, the network address. No, it's not booting. No, it's not going to boot. Mind you, it's port 5. No, not successful. So he hasn't boot successfully, so that's failed. Now this is part 2 of this segment of this video, the second segment. Now we're going to do, we're going to boot the same drive, port 5, which is from the caddy. By this time I'm going to eject the hard drive, so I'm going to eject the slots. Right, no drives, see? I know I eject these two, there's nothing in there, see? So just, if I eject it, look, no drives, there's nothing here. And there's nothing here, see? No drives. So I'm just trying to struggle. See? No drives, see? No drives, I'm going to leave it ejected. As is in, these are not hot plugs, so it's, it can be, it's ejected. I'm going to boot it, ejected. No drive. Detected. Right, let's do it. Let's see if it boots. From the caddy adapter. With no drives intact. But only the port 5. Let's go for the same process. Boot up as normal. Right. Should be detecting one drive, port 5. That is just port 5 only, see? Port 5 only. The top one, as I disconnected the, the main four slots. Let's see now if it's booting up now. And it looks like it's successful. So it does work without any drives intact. And it only works no full slots in use. And let it load up. We know it works now. Don't need to log in because it works now. I know it's boot up. And that's the end of the theory. 
So I've explained too much, I decided to show you the video that it does boot successfully on the on the caddy adapter but it only works without the four slots connected and it has to be empty and my reason behind it is it could be like maybe because the, um, the four slots are the priority port but if you know way around this how to get working how to make this port file the priority with all the drives intact let me know please uh, maybe write a comment tell me how it works now, I know it works through Linux, but again, I'm talking about Windows side of instead of Linux. Maybe you need a, a SATA array or SATA array card and set the port priority. But feel free to comment again, feel free to comment and let me know. And that's the end of the video. And thank you for watching.